हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रसाद पुबेलम कंटिन्यू माई क्लास सीरीज बायोलॉजी फॉर इंजीनियर्स बी बी ओ सी फॉर सेवन फोर जीरो सेवन मॉड्यूल टू सेकेंड मॉड्यूल फर्स्ट क्लास पार्ट वन ओके सो द सिलेबस इंक्लूड्स द कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इन सेलुलोज बेस्ड वाटर फिल्टर्स प्रोडक्शन पी एच ए पी एल ए बयोप्लास्टिक प्रोडक्शन न्यूक्लिक आसिड इन वैक्सीन एंड डायग्नोसिस लिपिड्स इन बयोडीसल and uh, detergent production enzymes in biosense uh, fabrication food processing detergent formulation and uh, textile processing so uh, i can see 10 topics are there the will be preparing 10 video classes individual video classes uh, so that it will be easy to understand in depth go in depth about the topic so that any question asked uh, it can be answered so all will be 10 mark question so if uh, if someone ask for uh, five marks also by combining two three topics also people can uh, able, students can able to answer it okay so moving to the uh, course outcome course outcome i have to show you uh, because as a teacher it's my responsibility to uh, show that this is your this, this is the course outcome because now we are in a era of uh, outcome based education okay students should know what is the course outcome of each subject what they are going to learn after completing that particular course okay my students or uh, who are watching my videos and are getting benefited please do subscribe uh, to my youtube channel the only, only request from my side uh, that is the only support i am getting uh, from you uh, that you keep on uh, doing the work i have to a lot of uh, correction uh, material and arranging it is needed my youtube channel is my intuition 4865 and this work are i am doing after uh, my official uh, working time uh, as a hobby for my youtube channel okay so i am not taking this class as such as such for uh, any student um, all are my students those who are watching this video okay so module 2 applications of biomolecules biology for engineers for uh, computer science and stream students question 1 explain how carbohydrates are utilized in the production of cellulose based water filters discuss the advantages and limitations of this application it is course outcome 1 uh, based question Uh, revised bloom's taxonomy level standard is 3 question standard and it is given for 10 marks uh, and the answer scheme is also given introduction introduction to carbohydrate cellulose on can get two marks the process mentioning the process uh, understanding the process gets three marks advantages of uh, right to write uh, three marks uh, limitations and challenges two marks that is how i distributed the marks okay carbohydrates uh, introduction uh, carbohydrates are the organic uh, uh, compounds uh, which are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen usually the hydrogen to oxygen uh, ratio in carbohydrates is around 2 to 2 to 1 the ratio okay so they are one of the primary sources of energy for uh, uh, the living organisms and these carbohydrates are found in various forms like sugars starches and cellulose Uh, you can categorize the carbohydrates as simple uh, ca- carbohydrates like monosaccharides uh, disaccharides uh, or even it may be a complex one polysaccharides same time the cellulose uh, cellulose is a complex carbohydrate uh, uh, containing uh, or consisting of a linear chain of uh, several uh, glucose units con- uh, joined together uh, mainly the d glucose units we call it as uh, Okay, uh, that's all. Leave all those things. Uh, not going it. Even the linkage also you have to specify from one glucose unit to the other glucose, D glucose unit. They are connected by beta one four linkage. Then it becomes cellulose. Okay, okay. So beta one four linkage that is one of the main important uh, thing uh, which you have to remember in case of cellulose. Beta one four linkage of of uh, D glucose units. So cellulose it is a uh, primarily structure of cellulose consists. component is a component of uh, the plant cells also and is the most abundant organic uh, uh, material or organic polymer i can say available in the earth the cellulose uh, why it is relevant here because cellulose has got a pores is fibrous nature it can have micro uh, even a nano sized pores can be created so that it can be used in the as a filtration application in the filter fi- filtering okay when we say about filtering uh, i'm Thinking, saying about only this size filtering that we have seen our household or our institutions uh, water purifier uh, where it is connected where the uh, pipe connection is normal uh, water pipe connection connected to this uh, device uh, and uh, filtration takes place inside uh, 
filtration in the sense not filtering the mud or uh, dust particle or uh, such particles uh, filtering the microbes mainly uh, killing the microbes or not allowing the microbes to pass through that that is the main uh, duty of this drinking water applications and that the uh, coming out from that uh, either it will be heated or a cold or a normal uh, we will take uh, in my institution uh, we have both uh, heater is there cooling is there normal is there so what we will do we take uh, normal water add a little bit of cold water then add uh, hot water and drink okay just for fun okay for water filtration setup you can see two or three such filters uh, are used okay maybe uh, different type of will be the one will be alkaline one will be acidic one will be normal filter yeah, such many things we have seen we am worried only about uh, that to make you sure that uh, this small setup only you are talking, you are not talking about, discussing about the bigger water uh, purifying uh, uh, plants. Their cellulose, uh, if you use, it will not work. Only this setup uh, we are thinking are uh, working on it. Okay, the filtration mechanism also, no, there is no much complicated mechanism and all. The pores, the adjusted pores will not allow the microbes of a bigger size to pass through. Uh, only the water, pure water will uh, pass through those holes and we will get the filtrate that is your pure drinking water. Okay. Now the cellulose acetate, uh, cellulose acetate materials are mainly used for this application. It is uh, collected from uh, the plants only, plants only collected and uh, made uh, into uh, different uh, forms, different treatments are done and we will get different forms. This is one of the cellulose acetate, it can be used for the uh, it needs modification okay so just i'm showing that uh, what is the cellulose acetate cellulose comes in our mind uh, how it looks like uh, that you can see it's just like a cloth material okay now it is uh, taken from uh, the plants so different plant uh, areas it can be collected or even the uh, waste uh, plant or materials it can be taken in the cell wall you can see that part uh, it will look like this in a in a highly magnification uh, images it is taken uh, MEB image is, it is taken from that uh, further if you go in, in depth you can see that uh, cellulose fiber one one thread of cellulose it even consists of crystalline parts as well as the amorphous regions so one treatment uh, of this cellulose further we can create um, uh, pores in that because it has got a uh, amorphous region uh, as well as a crystalline part uh, it, it, when they come together uh, it creates tiny pores Okay, you can see that uh, amorphous uh, segments uh, and the crystalline, crystalline will be well uh, defined arrangement will be there, there is no pores, uh, whereas the amorphous region, amorphous region means they are not uh, so uh, so neatly arranged, entangled arrangement, therefore it can be treated as a pore, pore in the sense what, what is the size you can see, it is uh, within 100 nanometer, so that much small pores, uh, uh, even uh, smaller pores can be created, therefore the microbes or bigger size more than 100 nanometer size they cannot go through that they cannot pass through that it will be filtered okay okay so that one only explained here in uh, four lines to act on, to make you to understand this uh, four five lines i put those images those images uh, you know you no need to draw for exam purpose only to make you understand i put that one okay now uh, the process of production of cellulose based water filters means we are not producing the that device as such we are only thinking about how that material uh, inside that material the cellulose material it is uh, processed or made ready for that first one that material collection you have to collect the material from the source usually the plants like uh, wood pulp uh, or cotton or other uh, agricultural residues can be used then a process called uh, pulping or the processing the, the plant material uh, undergoes a pulping process uh, which uh, the uh, to extract the cellulose fibers from that fibers are extracted by a method uh, like a mechanical methods are used chemical treatment methods are used so uh, different methods are there we are, again there are so we are not going in depth first we need to say that uh, so from a particular source a particular plant the cellulose fibers are extracted by mechanical or chemical treatment then forming the filtration medium uh, the, to form a, that to make it ready as a filtering medium, uh, either it has to be casted or it has to be retro spinning, or the method which is used in the uh, like the production of paper that can be used. Casting, casting just just pouring only, uh, dissolved in a particular suitable solvent. Uh, the material, the, the extracted material from the plants, 
that is actually dissolved in a suitable solvent solvents like nmmo that is the n methyl uh, morphonine n oxide or dmso dmso dimethyl sulfoxide or some ionic liquids or sodium hydroxide uh, with uh, urea aqueous solution can be used or acids like sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid can be used our acid solvent use is less common because uh, some safety and environmental concerns are there if when you use acid other solvents are used okay when the cellulose is dissolved in that then it is uh, it is poured or spread into very flat surface such as glass plate or uh, or metal sheet and made the solvent to evaporate slowly okay slowly or by some pressure also by heat also can extract but without disturbing that uh, solvent without touching or disturbing uh, uh, vibrating or some disturbance should not be there they let the solvent to go out then we will get a thin layer or thin layer of a porous cellulose same way electro spinning is another method which is used in which uh, the solution the cellulose solution a suitable solvent again needed and cellulose solution is taken in a, in a, a syringe type or called as the spinneret then it is kept in an electric field that is spinneret is kept in an electric field where the syringe has to go so when electric field is there then a, a collector plate is kept when the solution comes out from that the electric field makes that one to separate to in the form of a fibers uh, nano fibers okay that uh, the jet it, it will undergo a stretching or uh, elongation takes place uh, and finally you will get nano fibers and these are collected uh, uh, in a plate collector plate uh, as a non woven mat this particular uh, one of will be having a very high surface to area volume ratio because it came in the nano fiber form porosity is good uh, and we will get an interconnected porous structures will be obtained so these are about electro spinning method paper making method that paper making uh, normal traditional paper making method the same method can be used to prepare a thin sheet of uh, uh, cellulose means again uh, then pulp pulping that refining dilution and allow, allowing that solution to pass through through uh, porous uh, plates so that water will go out from that and remaining will settle down then further compress it compress it and make it as a paper which is used as a filter paper uh, the same method say same thing can be used then comes the uh, uh, functionalization functionalization uh, means adding functional group required functional group or adding some other uh, chemicals like um, it can be cellulose uh, obtained cellulose can be functionalized with um, other chemicals or some nano materials uh, for example the silver silver nano particles uh, if it is there it has got very good antimicrobial property so silver nano particle can be incorporated there even activated carbon can be incorporated which will improve the adsorption activated carbon will, will absorb more contaminants silver nanoparticles are more uh, um, antimicrobial if you kill the microbes very easily okay so that's about uh, 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 the functionalization then assembly and the shape shaping uh, final step of that filter whatever made the medium it has to be uh, cut or uh, made into a proper shape so that it will fit in the filtration unit uh, either cutting or layering or some other methods normal uh, mechanical methods are used to assemble it and give a shape to that particular uh, then advantages of uh, using cellulose water filter advantages um, um, first one renewable and uh, sustainable because cellulose is a renewable source which makes these filters uh, very environmental friendly and uh, when when we compare to other synthetic material it is very renewable and uh, sustainable uh, sustainability is there biodegradability uh, unlike the synthetic materials which we use so if you use a cellulose which is biodegradable and uh, uh, that reduces the environment impact and uh, waste disposal concerns are not there other synthetic material we use uh, once we use then that material has to be thrown you have to replace you no know? so when we throw that to environment creates problem that where the biodegradability uh, will uh, affect will having uh, the environmental friendly effect then cost effectiveness uh, cellulose is relatively inexpensive 
because the source is there, trees are there, uh, and the process is also not do that much costly. Uh, preparation of uh, the filter, water filter using cellulose is cost effective. Uh, efficiency, the fibrous and uh, the porous structure of cellulose allows for the effective filtration. Uh, it is capable of uh, trapping uh, a wide range of contaminants, including the particulates, uh, microorganisms, uh, other organic molecules. That is that much efficiency is there. Okay, then versatility. Cellulose based water filters can be used in various applications like a household water purification to to even to the industrial wastewater treatment. It can be used. Then comes the uh, limitations and challenges. Limitations: uh, durability and stability. Cellulose can be less durable when compared to the synthetic material, especially if the condition, the environmental conditions are harsh. Then cellulose will not work well. Uh, it can even uh, cellulose can swell or it will degrade uh, when uh, it is exposed to uh, moisture for a, a very long period. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, durability and stability is an issue that is getting uh, resolved. Clogging and maintenance. Cellulose filter it can clog faster due to their fine pores. Okay, it says that my very minute pores, but it, it can clog it. It, it will fill. immediately very fast and here it has to be frequently we need to replace so frequent maintenance and replacement required because of that the functionalization cost the functionalization is used to improve the performance the functionalization cost is little bit high um, so balancing the cost and efficiency is a key challenge for the researchers Then comes the sensitivity to pH and chemicals. Cellulose it can be sensitive to uh, extreme pH levels, high, acidic, uh, very low, uh, very high acidic, very high basic levels. Uh, it cannot uh, withstand, and uh, some other chemicals also it will not. Uh, uh, it will react with the chemicals, so this will limit the use in uh, some specific applications. Everywhere we cannot use uh, this type of water filters, but we are sure that uh, this type of complexes are not there there we can use it so that's about uh, the first class of module 2 thank you very much for having uh, watching my video classes and supporting me by subscribing sharing and uh, liking the videos so thank you very much